Jack, come back! Hi, I'm Paul, and this is The Golf Show. Hey everyone, I'm Paul Hemley, and welcome to The Golf Show. On the show this week, I've got another massive treat, thanks to my friends at Scottsdale Golf. I'm being invited onto the Callaway Tour Truck. Look at that beauty. I'm really excited to go on there and talk to Paul. Paul's in charge of building all the clubs for all the European Tour players for Callaway, so it's going to be really interesting to pick his brains and have a look through those drawers as well and see what kind of kit's in there. I've got a feeling this is going to be epic. So thanks for me back today, the Callaway Tour Truck. How on earth did you get that here? Well, it's been uh, it's been in planning since last year with uh, when Epic Speed was sure. out. Um, obviously, that was coming to the end of its generation yep. uh, with Rogue ST um, ready to come out early in the new year. Um, and we decided to kind of, we'd hang fire, we'd get the truck here once the new product comes out, when there's all the hype. Yep. And uh, what they've done this year with the Rogue ST is incredible. It's yep. a great product. Uh, the numbers speak for themselves. Yep. Um, so we wanted to get the truck here as soon as we could once this had launched um, and it's been, it's been here yesterday, Thursday, today, Friday, uh, fully booked, a um, couple of days, um, everyone's getting fitted for new driver, fairway, hybrid um, and of course they can leave with it on the day as well, it's built for them. That's, here. that's incredible isn't it, I mean industry lead times at the moment, what, two, three months probably globally for getting equipment, I know I went down to, uh, to Gainsborough to go at certain putter. Hopefully Rachel's not watching this one, and they've quoted a three-month lead time on a standard length putter, which is incredible. So the guys can come here to Scottsdale Golf today, have a look at this fantastic facility, get fitted in one of the two bays. You've got quad as well, haven't That's you, which right, is great. Yeah, GT quad. Expert fitters here as well. Then when the guys go onto the tour truck, the guys over there are building the clubs for them, and they can come back, grab a beer in the 19th, and then take the club away with them. Yeah, absolutely. And as well as that, they get a little complimentary uh, exclusive goodie bag. I've got one here for you as well. Oh, fantastic. Which, uh, nobody leaves with nothing. Uh, so that's for Excellent. you, Paul. Thank you very there much. You go, some nice little Callaway and Travis Matthew goodies. That's very kind. I'm sure Zach will be pinching that when I get <laughs> home. So if somebody wants to come on one of these days, I know you've done the tailor-made days before. That's right, yeah. um, I won't mention the T word again since we're talking Callaway today. How does somebody um, get on one of these um, days? So uh, it's dead easy to book. You can uh, give us a call. Or you can visit our website, scottsdalegolf.co.uk. Um, and then at the top of the homepage, uh, there's a book a fitting option. Uh, and that'll give you all the options uh, to book for our performance and build centre, which is here in Warrington. Um, if we've got any special VIP events like this one, um, they will all show up as well, so yep. you can book uh, those kind of things. Uh, we've got a Titleist Vogue SM9 fitting event in a few weeks, um, and then anything new that pops up will, will appear on there as well. Uh, or if you're just looking to book for a driver or a fairway uh, or anything like that, um, you can also book those options on there as well, read yep. about it. Um, but yeah, the, the main thing is once you've, you've been fitted, uh, the clubs will be built for you and you'll be able to take them with you and be playing on the course the following day. That's so cool, especially at the current time. Brad, thanks so much for your time and thanks so much for the invite again. Really yeah, appreciate no, not it. Not a problem anytime. Great Good to see you again. Cheers, Paul. mate. Thank you. No worries. Cheers, buddy. Okay, so it's time to go on the Callaway Tour Truck. Follow me. I've got a real treat today. I'm here with Paul Monks of Callaway. We're on the Callaway Tour Truck. Paul, how are you doing? Good. All good. Thanks so much for having us on board. This is an unbelievable facility. I'm keen to explore, maybe have a little look in some of those, those drawers in a bit. So uh, tell me about your role and tell me about the truck. Uh, my role is um, I'm in charge of all the golf clubs that get built on the yep. European tour. So um, predominantly when the tour comes back to Europe and the, this, this vehicle starts going out, wherever it goes, I'm yep. normally with it inside it building clubs Fantastic. And, and kind of managing the and fence. What, what would a week look like on tour? Would you be there at the start of the week and then start travelling to the next event as it, as it kicks off? Yeah, we run the practice day, so Monday, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday. So yeah. depending on where it is, it's whether it's easy to fly there on a Monday or we might fly in there on a Sunday so we can be there a bit earlier Monday. Yeah. But generally, we're uh, work. the working days, the working week is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So yeah. uh, Tuesday being the busiest day. Most yeah. players fly in Monday. Tuesday is a full day. Wednesday will be kind of fine tuning, finishing yep. off pro-am day for them and then we'll pack up and the truck leaves and goes to the next event. Fantastic, so you've got to have all the kit on here for all the contracted players and I guess other yep. players who are out of contract who might want to try the new road driver. Yeah, yeah, every now and then you get someone that's not gone contract and they might want to try try our driver so we're obviously obliged to that and then you know we've got players that use Odyssey putters that aren't yep. under contract so um, yeah, if they're um, if they're able to use the, the product and uh, we can get we can fit them in, then yeah, we'll do that. Fantastic. So we've got a, a wall of shafts here. So you're carrying everything, I guess, from driver shafts right through to, to wedges. 
Yeah, wedges at the top. Yep. So the most popular wedges at the top. So it's quick and easy, like X100s, there's 400s, just grab them quick. Yep. Um, and then the, the bottom two rows are the long irons, really. We started okay. doing that, splitting them up because when we're getting to certain times of the year and you're yep. building utility irons, yep. you know, two iron, whatever, it was just easy just to have and a selection of sure. my most popular three and four iron rather than breaking sets up. Gotcha, and yeah. then in the middle lots are all all wood shafts. So generally 60, 70, 80, so you've got 60, 70, yeah. 80, so they'll all be roughly in a category. Yeah. Um, and is there anything more popular at the moment? Any big trends on tour? Probably the two biggest trends on tour with shafts would be uh, the Tensai AV range yeah. and then the Fujikura Ventus range. Okay. They're comfortably number one, number yep. two driver shaft on the European tour. Do you tend to find they do go in trends, a new, a new shaft will come out and people will want that shaft? Yeah, sometimes. I think both, both those shaft uh, manufacturers have got um, quite a nice story behind. Yep. They're quite simple to understand. Yep. So, you know, blue, mid launch, white, yep. bit firmer, less spin, Ventus, red, blue, black, yep. you know, low, mid, high bend point. So you do find that once the driver goes in, all of a sudden the player might, well, yep. try to three wood you know, try 70 gram in a three wood okay. and 80 gram in a five wood yep. and, and, and even into the hybrids, you know, because obviously they do, Tensai and Ventus do the uh, hybrid option as well. So you do find yep. that, yeah. Fantastic. Okay, well, let's have a look and see what else you've got on the track. Well, this side's predominantly grinding. Yep. So um, changing bounce, uh, just changing shape of heads or straight leading edges. So that's what this banker machines gives us the ability to do. Um, other sides more measuring loft and lies, uh, calibration yep. of shafts. Uh, and then the drawers are full up with various items, so... Oh wow. Wood heads. I have to say that that is a really good looking driver. When I, when I tested it, if I may, I, I just thought that the finish was great. Obviously it's a bit more matte than you've had before. The tungsten speed cartridge as well, the colours are beautiful. I, um, I was playing this on a, an early morning at Fulford, doing some testing. I'll, I'll put a link to the episode underneath in the description and I was just getting 262 wherever I hit it on the face. The playoff seven, yeah. it was just amazing. I, I currently got a PXG driver. If I had a good one, it might go 265, 270, but the bad ones were going 240. There was yeah. no real drop off with this at all. I was really amazed how good that was. Yeah, no, we've noticed that a lot on tour, that once you, once that player you know, starts repeating his swing more and more, yeah. that whatever spin window and launch window is in, yeah. it's very, very tight, it doesn't really change, yeah. you know, which, which is brilliant. So it's yeah. not, you know, spin direction is not moving massively yeah. up and down you know, with, with off-center hits, which obviously benefits yeah. us more than them. And, and is that the jailbreak technology that's keeping it so stable across the face? Yeah, jailbreak with the weight, the, with the uh, speed tune cartridges at the back, the aerodynamics, just the overall, you know, lots and lots of little things added together can add up to a um, very forgiving or spin robust driver yeah I was, I was super impressed with that one okay and what else we got most of those are woods and a bit further down we've got it's quite kind of where we get into the irons so um, got a yep. few specific wedges some of the older wedges we carry we just keep them in sets with them because I wouldn't necessarily carry all the lofts in that one got all the players names on there I guess they're playing different slightly different versions and some might keep some older ones will they yep and then Next drawer below, I guess yeah. this is uh, we get into the irons, iron yeah. sets, wedges Beautiful. with different finishes and bounces. Yeah. So you can see that everything's a pattern. It's quite. Yeah. I like things nice and neat. Yeah, I, I really like that. That would if, if they were all over the place. When you when you <laughs> so just looking at these drawers, everything is perfect for my OCD. When you get to an event and they're moved about all over the place, you have to go and straighten them up, or they tend to sort of stay. Well, right it's funny because if the truck goes down the road, it resorts them all. <laughs> so it's just a moment that <laughs> they kind of quite like. They're yeah. almost like fish swimming in one direction. Yeah, that's perfect. That's but uh, yeah, if the wife knew I was like this, she doesn't know I'm like this. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't watch the golf show. <laughs> Don't tell her on YouTube next week. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. That's pretty much it from this side. I mean, there's yep. more, there's yep. a few more wood heads scattered around. Yeah. Um, we carry a couple of, some of the, some of the players, we carry some of their like custom grips. Then it's like what, some of the one-offs where I've only got one person using that particular More grip. grips in here. Yeah, this is a, some of them. Quite a of variety them you've got yeah. there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah cool. different the lines. The line technology of Golf Bride Squat is, is good. That seems to be quite popular. Well, the advantage is now on a mid-size, you can have a reminder where before yep. you can't. So would they, so would they have that all the way up to the wedges that maybe not have the line in the wedges so they can yeah, sort of work it a bit? Yeah, some players do that. Some, okay. some are not that bothered. Okay. Um, just really preference. And obviously, they all, pretty much all of them have different amounts of tape. So whether yep. it's like more tape under the right hand or left hand, do you find um, the players 
kind of know what they want most of the time. Yes, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Might, might, well, they know what they want to feel, yeah. and then probably, and they know what outcome they want, yeah. and then that's where we help out. You do the bit of magic We're in the middle. with working out, kind of understanding what that feel is, yeah. and, and looking at numbers, and then working it, kind of working it back from there. Yeah. Almost a bit like doctor-patient, really, at okay, times yeah. from that. You that's interesting, it's an interesting way to think of it, yeah. You, you know, you can't tell what someone's feeling. Do a sure. lot of, you can measure loads of yeah. things about the golf club, but I can't tell, you know, I don't know what you're feeling or how yeah. it's feeling, so, you know, some of those, watching the delivery, yeah. watching how it changed on track man, watching how they manip manipulate yeah. it, if they're feeling something else, yeah. where they're getting confused where the head is. So there's loads of things that yeah. kind of put in the cauldron and interesting. Really interesting. Out with. Okay. Um, and in here, this is kind of most of the air. I spend probably most of my time standing in this round about this position. So all the different cogs, yeah. this is where we, this is where we, we would glue, glue clubs. So this, this side of the bench is deeper than the other side so that we okay. can lie. So oh, when, yeah. you've got, when you're building sets of golf clubs, you can lie them all this way yeah. and they stay on, on the bench whilst the drawer still opens. When the yeah. head's it's all been purposely thought about and... Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely, because we're in here for a long time. Yeah. You know, I mean, a, a Tuesday wouldn't be uncommon to yeah. be in here for over you know, 12 hours. Really? If, you know, with the amount of equipment. It's, it's a good, service. I mean, for the truck, obviously the side's open out. It doesn't feel too claustrophobic. It feels quite a nice working space. Yeah, no, it's very yeah, nice. Yeah. All air conditioned, yeah. reasonable amount of light. We've got skylights and yeah. they, they open as well. Yeah. So we can get a bit of natural air in yeah. here rather than just be living in air conditioned there. Sure, yeah, nice. And then the good yeah. thing is if it starts to rain, they're on a sensor, so they close back again. Oh, perfect. So if we leave the truck at night and forget to close yeah. them, it starts to rain, we come back to loads of water <laughs> inside. It looks mega high tech. And what does it feel like when one of your players wins? Say so he's been in, you've built in some clubs, then he goes out and, and wins that week. What does that feel like? Yeah, that's very good for the whole team. You know, yeah. all of us would have played a part in yeah. in you know that that venture and getting into yeah. the position where he can you know go on and win the tournament. Fantastic. So yeah, we all you know all communicate with them, just like yeah. send them texts and they send texts back, and you know, it's all, all very good. So all big one, one big team. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. This is a great setup. And uh, what have we got through there? So this section here where I'm standing is yeah. more like our reception area. Yeah. So players come in, we've got coffee machine, yeah. tea, all favorite tea, Yorkshire tea, which supplied by um, Michael Vaughan. Excellent, yeah. Supplies us our Yorkshire tea, Excellent. which keeps us all going. Gotta love a cup of Yorkshire tea from Harrogate. I'm yeah. from over in York, yeah. So it keeps Pete Cowan and the lads happy. So they'll come in, <laughs> make a cup of tea, fridge with all the favorite drinks. So yeah. if someone's got a favorite drink, and we know they're gonna play, we'll do our best to try and stick that in there. Um, this is normally set up, a little bit yeah. different this week, but this is normally set up as a, it's kind of our locker system, so there'll be a, yeah. a plastic box in there yeah. with the player's name that'll have his gloves, his balls, his yeah. hat, so the player or the caddy can just come and grab them. Yeah. Everything else is just kind of quick, just, oh, just, is that long? It's just for quick, so spare yeah. gloves for players, spare towels, yeah. spare golf balls. This is like this golfing one. heaven for me. Yeah, this one normally in here it's a bit empty. We normally have like mitts, snooze, yeah. bobble outs, just just a few, just in case. Brilliant. We go somewhere and it's cold. But yeah. then the front section is um, oh, a nice. full working office. Yeah. So shut the door. It's soundproof. So we can have player meetings in here yeah. or discussions, or um, a player might have a discussion with his coach in here, yeah. or just you know just a perfect room to have where we can yeah. just do our business in our time and discuss what we want to discuss. Yeah, I'd be quite happy hanging out there. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Excellent. Where are you off to next, Paul? Um, in a couple of weeks, we're off to Spain. So we've got a couple of events. The first two events in Spain around the Barcelona area, and then it's uh, British Masters. Then I think it's Belgium, Netherlands. Just go, it all starts <laughs> to steamroll into one after oh, that. Oh, brilliant. Well, Paul, thank you so much for your time. It's been an absolute privilege to be on this truck and to meet you. Uh, really appreciate it. And you've got the coolest office in golf, my friend. All right, Thank you very much. Cheers, Paul. Thank you. Wow, how good was that? Another great day here at Scottsdale Golf. Check out their website for coming on some of these VIP days. Going on there with Paul was fantastic. Hearing all the stories about the tour, looking in some of those drawers, seeing what the equipment was brilliant. I really enjoyed it. I'm so lucky. I love doing this. So thanks for subscribing, guys. I really appreciate the support. If you enjoyed this, give us a like. If you're new, give us a subscribe. And we'll see you next time on The Golf Show. Hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.